my next point on the next slide is what is your long-term then monitoring ability? You should have a way to monitor incentives as they move along. And the example I give, and it's the example that no one's really heard of, in response to Waxman Markey, Senator Luger here of Indiana and Senator Merkley, a Democratic senator from Oregon, got together and they have Senate Bill 1574, which is called, obviously, Merkley, Merkley Luger. It's not passed yet, it's just sitting in a Senate committee, but what it does is it would offer low interest or low cost credit facilities or loans to people who want to make investments in energy saving or energy generating assets on their balance sheet. They will in essence fund your upfront costs. You have a very low interest payment back to the federal government over time. That way you can strengthen again your balance sheet while reducing your overall energy costs. But my question to you is, you should know in a plan, how are, you going to how are you going to know when this thing comes out? How are you going to know if you can apply? You should have some sort of process. I don't care if it's a three ring binder or just every day you go on the internet and check yourself first thing in the morning. You should have a plan as to how to monitor ongoing legislation, ongoing um, regulation. And additionally, uh, if you want to have an impact You've got to get involved. So being here, being at events like this, you know, whether you have a lobbyist or not, is completely irrelevant. You need to be involved and you need to know what's going on in the space, even if you're not a regulated entity. Because like I said at the beginning, we have so many clients who say to us, well, we're not regulated, we don't have to worry about this. And my point is, energy costs are going up no matter what, and they're going up even more when the market passes. And you need to be prepared for your income statement, your balance sheet and your government relations to know how to make, continue to make yourself profitable over time. So with that being said, I'm gonna turn this over to Kristen and she is going to, oh, and the last slide is my information if you have follow-up questions, again, it's only 10 minutes, but Kristen now is gonna load you up with all the incentives that you can use to uh, benefit your balance sheet.